Wow, man. What a fucking bore fest. Seriously. Barbershop blues. Barbershop shit. Uh, garbage. Okay, that's what that is. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha. And today on This Movie Sucks, it's going to be Barbershop Blues, of course. Okay, so of course this movie starts off with, of course, Mr. Blue getting arrested by the cops and, of course, going to jail. And, of course, talking with his girlfriend on the phone. And, you know, his girlfriend telling him that he'll be, that she'll be there for him forever. Okay, so come to find out, he comes out of jail, and then he wants 25000 okay? And pretty much um, what he does is either tells his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend, because the movie does not want to explain, seriously. The movie does not want to fucking explain what the hell is going on, okay? So he's like, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in the media, if you don't get, get mine, my 25000 in 48 hours, or some shit like that, okay? Basically, he wants to put her in Playboy. Okay, so then, you know, the stupid bitch does not want to agree to it, to give him 25000 Of course, that she sends her brother to go kick his ass, but his her brother gets his ass kicked by Blue, okay? So, yeah, you know, um, pretty much uh, what happens is, you know, the movie's just boring. Uh, you know, I almost fell asleep about maybe ten times because nothing really happens in the movie. You know, um, uh, shitty scene after shitty scene, you know, of the old barber and the fucking stupid people at the barber shop. Yeah, so pretty much what they did was, I don't know when the movie was made, but, you know, pretty sure it was probably made after uh, The Barbershop with Ice Cube. No, I know, but, but here's the thing, though, okay? What this movie did was took the comedy out of it and just put more drama in there, basically, okay? No, I'm sorry, it does not work like that, seriously. It does not work like that, because then it's just going to be a terrible movie. Seriously, and, you know, the thing is that, in the end, yes, they they, they uh, do get the money back and stuff like that, but, but the old fart gets himself arrested for getting the money back for them, and, of course, killing Blue, and the stupid bitch has to cry about it, you know, but, um, anyways, uh, the movie sucked ass, you know, it was shit, okay? Just thought I would tell you that. Uh, it's a waste of time. It was boring. Okay, but let's get into the directing. Yeah, pretty much uh, when you're directing a shitty old movie, of course that, you know, you're, you're going to have like a couple of pixels off, of course. You know, big ass squares like this. I'm not even lying about that. Big ass squares like this in, on the side of your movie each time you transition to a scene or you know characters are moving too fast and it and it looks like you know like uh, like sort of like flashy like like this see how I'm moving my hand yeah sort of like that you know um the acting the acting is terrible man seriously you know the acting is real shitty you know um, pretty much the writing and dialogue sucks, okay, it's, it's, uh, one of the worst, not gonna even lie, okay, you know, it, it makes, uh, let's see, it makes, I guess a Quentin Tarantino movie look way better than, than this piece of crap, and you know what I think about that writing and that dialogue, okay, but I'm just saying pretty much so, okay, uh, I don't think there was that much blood in it. I don't remember that being that much blood. But um pretty much I remember it being just real shitty with the the gun effects and stuff like that. <sighs> yeah, pretty much so. But um the movie is a fucking bore fest, man. No fucking lie. Ugh, my god. You know, the movie is just a fucking bore fest. Like I don't even know how to explain it, but you know, yet again, somebody called their friends and said, hey, let's make this shitty old movie. 
and let's make it real dumb and retarded and let's make it so that nobody knows what the hell is going on you know I, I tried uh, rewinding the parts a couple of times still okay still you know um mainly the the characters um ugh, they don't they don't they don't um damn what is that that I'm looking for they're not interesting at all they're they're not you know you know we need to get interested in characters these are not interesting characters at all these are just boring you know bland there we go bland characters these are very bland characters okay but all I'm gonna fucking say is avoid this piece of shit like it's the fucking plague, okay? If you ever find Barbershop Blues, of course, smash it. Smash it with a screwdriver or, you know, smash it with uh, an ice skate or anything like that, pretty much, okay? J just thought I would tell you right off the bat, you know, this movie is a, a, a waste of... You know, your time. Seriously, this movie is a waste of your time. So don't even bother with it. Seriously. But, um, here's my recommendations, okay? Uh, watch Barbershop over, you know, Barbershop Blues. Pretty much so, because this is just a boring film. Okay, just saying, though, it's a boring film. And all the characters are, are just stupid and boring in the film. But, uh, yeah, you know, anyways, this is, this movie sucks, and I'm out. Peace.